Hey, welcome to our monthly Ask Me Anything call. Thank you so much for being here. All right, so it's been a little while since we've had an Ask Me Anything call. I think we missed last month. Um, but anyway, I'm really, really happy that you're here. So this is our monthly Ask Me Anything call. And we actually do this twice, this twice a month. We do it once here in my, uh, this is my uh, business Facebook page. And then we also do it in the Life Editor Clubhouse Facebook group. And that's exclusively for Silver Level members. So if, if you just can't get enough of me and you're like, I want Sage all the time, well then come on over to the Life Editor Clubhouse and sign up for the Silver Level. And you'll be in our exclusive little Facebook group too, uh, where we have great discussions and we have an extra Ask Me Anything call every month. So what is an Ask Me Anything call? Well, it's just that. You get to pick my brain. Uh, this is your chance to get questions answered about life editing, business strategies, motivation, project planning, anything you want, anything that you're working on, your specific situation, and you get to ask me without having to be in one of my exclusive private coaching programs, without having to be in my academy mastermind groups, without having to pay me thousands of dollars. So <laughs> it's a pretty good deal for you. <laughs> you get to talk to me here. So here's the thing, you can type your questions into the comment box and I will answer them during today's call. If you are watching this recording later, no worries. Go ahead and type your questions into the comment box because I'm going to be coming back all week long to answer your questions. So yeah, so whatever whatever is on your mind, if it's about uh, any of the five steps of the life editing process, gratitude, deleting bad influences, adding good habits, self-care, any of that good stuff, type your questions in there. Something about your specific situation, whatever you're going through, type it in there and I'll answer it. Um, or, <laughs> which we're going to be talking about today, planning. I know you life editors are huge planners, and I'm going to spend a bulk of today's time talking about the new 2019 planners that are starting, that are going to be going on sale. Okay, they're going on sale Monday. You would not believe how many emails and notices I've gotten from people saying, like, where are the planners? Where are the planners? Which <laughs> is really funny because I, I thought I was doing, like, a pattern here. My planners go on sale mid-November. My planners go on sale mid-November and I've been selling them for five years now. So I kind of thought like, you know, maybe people like, they, they expect them to like, they, they I've always sell my planners the week before <laughs> Thanksgiving. But every year, everyone's like, where are the planners? Where are the planners? And I'm like, okay, they're coming, they're coming. So we're gonna be talking about that. Just on like a side note, that's kind of funny and I just wanted to share it with you. Whenever I do these videos or when I post videos like on YouTube or send you emails with my videos, I occasionally get emails from people say like, Sage, you live in Orlando, Florida. It's like 90 degrees there. Why are you wearing a sweater? And it's like, this is my rebellion <laughs> because yes, I'm looking outside. It is bright and sunny and it's 80 degrees today. And it is, it's not fall. It, it's not even like, it doesn't feel like fall. The leaves don't change colors. There, there is no autumnness going on around here. But yet I'm still in my sweaters and I have a huge sweater collection because I'm in denial, I guess. I don't know. Um, but you guys know I used to live in Chicago and then I used to live in San Francisco, which are all like really great sweater cities. Um, and I kind of miss it. And I, like, I really miss it. Like when I'm doing my, my thank you week videos or when I'm doing my 12 days of life editing videos, I'm like always in sweaters. And people are like, why are you wearing sweaters? It's like tropical climate there. And like, yeah, they're right. Um, but I won't give them up. I won't give up my sweaters. So like in my defense, I, I work in my home office and I always have the air conditioning going. Like the air conditioning is going constantly around here. So like, it makes sense that I'm wearing a sweater because it's like kind of cold inside, but yeah. Yeah, you guys love to call me out on wearing <laughs> clothes that are not appropriate for the tropical climate that I live in, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to share that funny thing with you. Okay, so in today's Ask Me Anything call, if you've got a question, go ahead, type it into the comment box, and I'm going to be answering your questions all week, so go ahead and keep, keep typing in there, even if you're watching this recording later. But let's talk about what you really want to hear today. And let me see if I can get these in frame 
It's my new 2019 planners. Yay. <laughs> I am so, so, so excited about the 2019 planners. So we've got the life goals, the business goals, and the undated 12-week planner, and they are so gorgeous. They are so amazing this year. Um, I'm working with a new graphic designer, and I, I can't wait to show you all the new stuff that's in the planner. So real quickly, um, those of you who are in the silver level of the Life Editor Clubhouse, you will get your coupon code the same way you do every single year. And your coupon code, 99% um, sure it's going to be $10 off the big planners and then $20 off the bundle with all three. Um, that's how we've been doing it the past few years. So I'm 99% sure that's what you're gonna be getting. So you silver level members, yay. As a thank you for being uh, paying members of the Life Editor Clubhouse, you're gonna get your, your promo code as always. Um, and that promo code is good forever. <laughs> for, for the life of the printed planners. So whether you order in November, December, January, February, whenever, those coupon codes for the silver level members will still be good. So um, if you would like your own coupon code, <laughs> come on over to the Life Editor Clubhouse and join at the silver level. Last time I counted, it was somewhere around like 115 hours of video and audio content in the clubhouse. We add new clubhouse classes every month where I'm answering your questions about different aspects of life editing. And it's really a wonderful community. Like I mentioned earlier, we have a great Facebook group, lots of interaction, and I would love for you to be there. Um, the Silver Level members also get discounts not only on the planners, but they also get discounts on tickets to my live events like Life Editor Weekend, which is coming up in March. So put it on your calendar or put it in your planner. <laughs> totally. All right. So next week, the printed planners go on sale. So right now, like immediately right now, the digital versions are in the Life Editor Clubhouse. So if you can't wait, <laughs> if you can't wait like five days for the printed planners, go log in to the Life Editor Clubhouse. It's lifeeditorclubhouse.com. And if you are in the silver level, you can download the digital planners right now. Um, and with those digital planners, I get questions every year. Those digital planners are yours to use as you see fit. So if you want to use them digitally and type in them, type into the PDFs, totally fine. If you want to print out just the worksheets that you need and just use those, awesome. If you want to just use the calendar portion, you can do that too. But I know a lot of you prefer the digital ones because then you can take them to your local stationery store, your local office supply store, and you can resize them and print them and get them bound in any size that works for you. So I know a lot of you like to do that. I mean, I really like this size. What, what size do you call this, six by nine? It's six by nine. I don't know if there's like a specific size, but like this size really works well for me. Um, I, it fits in my purse. <laughs> I guess I have like a big purse too, but it's not as big as like, um, like letter size to take up like the, the whole, uh, like take up your whole desk. I mean, it, it feels like a really good size for me, but I get it. Some people like this, they don't want this size. They want it even smaller or they want it even bigger. So that's why I do offer the digital versions of the planners, but the digital versions are only available in the Life Editor Clubhouse. Um, <laughs> Donna's like, open it up and show us all the features. I'm getting there, I'm getting there, Donna. My goodness, like, I'm getting there. So, <laughs> so yeah, 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 the digital ones are in the Clubhouse right now. Go ahead, go download them right now, go resize them, do whatever you want. So yes, Donna, I'm so glad you're here because my goodness, Every single day, I get another handful of emails. I'm getting like four or five emails a day from people saying like, where are the planners? What's new with the planners? How come I can't get the planners right now? And I'm like, I'm working on it. It's kind of, they, they are always, always released. For the past five years, they've always been released the week before Thanksgiving. So, so okay, okay. So um, as you can kind of see on the, these covers, you can see here, like this coffee cup that's like spilling coffee everywhere. Uh, you can see there's another coffee cup. There's a little like, pumpkin spice latte there in this one you can see like the little frappuccino so like what's the theme for 2019 you guys totally got it it's a coffee theme um so the, you guys know i change the theme every year for my planners and 2019 is all coffee all the time and <laughs> 
And I guess it kind of goes along with my personality because I'm like super um, hyper and I'm always kind of like jittery a little bit. <laughs> so I guess it makes sense that like I have a coffee themed planner um, because I drink a lot of coffee. I drink a lot of tea. I know you ladies do too. I know a lot of you like those really fancy drinks and I love it. I love it all. I love like the whole coffee shop atmosphere. <laughs> Caffeine. Yes, Donna, like totally. We are caffeinated life editors here. <laughs> So, so yes, they are coffee themed um, and they're just su super cute. You're going to love my new uh, graphic designer. Her name is Lucy Counts. You must go check out her design. She does really cute Disney designs too, which like, of course, I'm a Disney fan. Um, so if any of you are looking for a graphic designer, you're going to love the new graphic designs. So check out Lucy Counts because she does an amazing job. So, okay, without further ado, let me show you what's new this year in the planners. First, let me talk about what is, is the same. So with life goals, business goals, and 12-week planner. <laughs> but the 12-week one is uh, purple this year. I know people last year were like, Sage, why did you make a planner that's gray? And I'm like, I don't know, because gray is one of my colors. And I thought it was classy. But everyone was like, why do you have this gray planner that looks <laughs> really depressing? And I'm like, sorry. So so this year it's purple. So like, like... <laughs> You're getting a purple planner, it's not gray, so I heard you. So that was one of the changes. Um, also, these planners are spiral bound, so they lie flat, which I really like, and you can also like bend them around each other, so you can like lay them like this. I know there are a lot of really great planners. <laughs> See, Hiromi is like, you love the gray. Like, nobody else liked the gray. You were the only one who liked the gray. <laughs> but but um, with th there's lots of other planners out there, and um, I know a bunch of them, like Erin Condren and the Happy Planners, which I love, like huge Happy Planner plan. I love how you can like bend the planner backwards um, and keep it flat on your, your desk. But I know like sometimes like with like a bullet journal or something, it doesn't bend all the way around. But in my planners, I do have, uh, do, 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 I have the bullet journal dot grids for you, which you can see here. So if you do bullet journaling, you can still have a, a journal that like bends backwards on itself. Um, I love the spiral bound. Also this year, uh, we, we yes, we're keeping the glossy covers, but the covers are thicker. I heard you, the thicker, the thicker covers was really requested too. So they're still like bendy, if that makes sense. They're still bendy covers. But um, I know a lot of you were like, can we can we have the thicker card stock? And I'm like, okay, yeah, we can do that. So you'll you'll be able to feel it when you when you get these this year. The the covers are a little bit thicker. Um, I know like last year they they were only like a smidge thicker than the regular pages, but yeah, they they are much thicker this year. Um, what else? Also, uh, I'm really proud to always say this that my planners are written, designed, printed, and shipped in the United States. So they are 100% USA made, <laughs> made in the USA, which I mean, like I'm, I'm from the US, so of course that's important to me. But I know some of you are just like a little wary about like, mm, where is this stuff actually printed? And um, I, I spent way too much time researching where to get my planners printed. Um, and I did look into some of those overseas factories, you know, you know what I'm talking about, the ones where you can get them printed for like a dollar each, no matter how big they are. And it's just like, I didn't feel really comfortable with like the working conditions or how it just seemed really kind of shady. Um, so even though my planners cost a lot more, they cost a lot more than a dollar each. Um, I just feel better about printing them in the U.S. and, um, I don't know. Can you guys tell me, does that even, does that even register for you? Do you guys even care about that? I don't know. I care about it because it just makes me feel like uncomfortable when I don't know if there's someone in a sweatshop getting pennies a day printing planners. Like, I don't know. I'm not saying that I'm always going to be able to print my stuff in the USA, but for right now, it's really important to me. So written, designed, printed, and shipped right here in the USA. Made in the USA. Um, and I'm, I'm happy to, to always offer that. But that's not all. <laughs> My planners are also, uh, they also have free shipping everywhere, anywhere in, the, U in the, the whole world, not just the US, anywhere in the world is free shipping. 
So your shipping cost is included in the cost of the planner. So where did I ship last year? I should have kept like, I should have brought like, I should have printed it out and had it here for the call, but I printed uh, and, and shipped planners all over. Of course, like most of my planners go to people in the US and Canada, but also uh, the United Kingdom, Australia, Saudi Arabia, India, um, let's see, Egypt. I'm trying to think of all the countries. Um, a lot of countries in Europe. So like, yeah, no matter where you live, you can live in a tiny little island, your own private island somewhere, and I will still get your planners to you. Shipping is always free worldwide. All right, so yeah, that's what's the same. Made in the USA, free shipping everywhere, glossy pages, uh, thicker covers. But now here's what's new this year. Okay, I'm finally getting into the new stuff. Like, ding, 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 here's the new stuff. Okay, so new this year with my 12-week um, undated planner, which is uh, really popular, I'm finally selling this by itself. I'm selling it separately. So before, if you wanted the 12-week planner, um, it wasn't available um, to be purchased separately. I just gave it to my um, Academy members. So now you can get the 12-week planner even if you're not in Life Editor Academy. So you can buy like just the 12-week one um, on its own, or you can buy it in a bundle with the life and business planner. So if you want all of them, or I know some of you were asking because you just wanted the 12 week one, you wanted like four of these to use throughout the year. So you'd have like one for winter, one for spring, one for fall and one for uh, <laughs> summer. I'm so out of it. But, but yeah, so you would have one for each season. Um, and it's a little it's a little thinner, you can see. So like some of you would rather have just had this instead of this. So this one's 100 pages. This is like 270 pages. So yeah, I kind of get it if you want to carry around something that's a little smaller. So uh, 12 week one is sold on its own separately this year. It's got the purple cover. I heard you. Stop <laughs> complaining about the gray cover. You've got the purple cover now. Um, okay, so what is new in the um, 12 week one? We have a new worksheet. It's the 100 ways to change your life worksheet which is one of my most downloaded worksheets in the, the editor's toolkit in the clubhouse. Um, so this worksheet is all about coming up with creative, inventive ways to solve your problems. So whatever it is you're working on, 100 ways to earn more money, 100 ways to lose weight, 100 ways to show my kids that I love them. You write all of your brainstorming ideas here and I give you like just instructions for how to like set a timer, how to get your brain going and, and why it's important to have a sense of urgency when you're coming up with your 100 ways to do whatever. And so then when you are feeling down or you're like, I don't know what to work on this week or I'm not feeling motivated, you can come back and check your 100 ways to blank worksheet and have all of these great ideas to try. Um, so I'm really happy about that. Um, just showing you some of the inner pages. Um, oh, like I said, see, like we are we're totally coffee themed. I'm like, I'm totally in love with this Frappuccino. Is that like not the cutest thing in the whole world? <laughs> so you're gonna love the coffee uh, pictures in here. Okay, so new is the 100 ways to change your life worksheet. Also new is the perpetual calendar. Oh my goodness. This was highly, highly requested was the perpetual calendar. Um, do you ladies know what a perpetual calendar is? I think you do, but maybe you call it something different. That's when you have a calendar with all of the days blank and you put recurring things on there. So if you know so-and-so's birthday is always February 1st, you can write that down. Or your anniversary or um, special holidays or things that go on with your school. Um, it's where you can mark like birthdays, anniversaries, other important events that happen every single year at the same time. So that's why it's called a perpetual calendar. Um, it's not just a one and done calendar. So you can always see, uh, have it written down like, oh, like when is Aunt Susie's birthday? Oh, there it is, it's in the perpetual calendar. Um, this was really requested and I hope you guys love it because I, I use perpetual calendars to like keep track of birthdays or anniversaries or just things that come around every year but you don't really actively remember them. So yes, perpetual calendar. Like you can see like all of the, the, the months are at top and then all the dates go down there. Yes. All right. We have more new stuff in the 12 week one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Those of you who live outside of the United States, like I can't believe how many emails I got about this. Like 
why do your months start on Sunday? That's so weird because your weeks start on Monday. This is an American thing and it doesn't make sense to anyone else but Americans. And like, I don't even know why it's like this, but in our calendars and in our planners, a monthly calendar starts on Sunday and goes through Saturday. And our weekly spreads, like in our planner, start on Monday and go through Sunday. I don't know why it's like that, but that's how it is. And that's how it's been since I was a little girl. I've never seen American calendars any other way. So that's how I set them up. And that's how they're set up in my life goals and my business goals uh, planners. Sorry, that's how it is. <laughs> but for those of you who live outside of the United States or you think we're just weird, I have taken off the days of the week in the monthly um, in the monthly calendar. So now you can start your months any day that you want. You can start them on a Sunday. You can start them on a Monday. You can like organize your month in a way that makes sense to you, that actually like fits how you see the world um, and probably fits your wall calendar. So like us Americans, we're gonna, our wall calendar start on a Sunday, so we'll start it on a Sunday. But for those of you outside the US, your calendar start on Monday, so you can start it on Monday. But here's the thing too. So I also, I took the dates off. Can you, you can see that. I took the dates off, but you don't have to use these undated calendars as a calendar. Maybe you use it for something different. So maybe it's a chore chart for your kids, or maybe it's meal planning, or maybe it's different habits you're working on. Like maybe this is going to the gym. Maybe this row is meditating. Maybe this row is whatever, cleaning the house. And you can organize these in any kind of categories that make sense to you. I mean, it's mapped out like a calendar, but maybe you want to use it for like tracking how often your kids do their chores or for tracking how often you go to the gym or for like the different meditations that you're trying or for the different uh, classes that you're going to at the gym. Does that make sense? You can uh, use these, the, the categories for whatever you want. That's why it's undated. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was highly requested and I heard you. Um, that's what I really love about you life editors is that you are so supportive and you're so like, really appreciative of the things that I put out there, which uh, makes me feel so good because I work really, really hard on my planners for you. And it's really nice when you care enough to tell me that you want something that could work a little bit better for you, that you want a little bit of a change. Just to get that positive, loving feedback is really, really nice. Um, so again, here's what it looks like inside the undated 12-week planner. So as always, we've got the days of the week, Monday through Sunday, and then here's a big box for your to-dos. And then at the bottom, I can't forget the life editing process. You've got the five steps of the life editing process. So every week you can track your progress through the five steps and what you're working on. So you have a nice balanced edited life. So yeah, I'm thrilled, thrilled, thrilled about uh, the new 12 week planner. Let me see if I can find some more graphics for you. Like. <laughs> Frappuccino, yes. <laughs> All of my, my coffee images on here. Um, so like, yeah, I've got my like pumpkin spice latte up there. Um, I'm just like absolutely thrilled with the, the new graphic designs. You guys are going to love them. Um, let me find another page for you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just really pleased with how everything came out. Here's another spread, very colorful. I know, um, I think you're, you're pretty much like me where I just feel better when I'm like writing in these blocks of text rather than just like a big open space. Um, I know some of you prefer to, to draw your own, like your own boxes, like it's, here's where I map out all the boxes for you. But that's why we do have the dot grid pages. For you bullet journal ladies, <laughs> gotta, gotta have those dot grid pages. Um, and you can use the dot grid pages for, for habit tracking or for just a running to-do list or just kind of a open-ended brain dump or mind map. Can you see the coffee cup? It's too cute. It's too cute. <laughs> anyway, so that's what's new in the 12-week planner. Let's move on to the life goals planner. And this is the planner that I sell more than anything else. Um, most of you, Most of you end up buying the life goals planner. So like... This, this is the one, <laughs> this is the one you like. Again, it's coffee themed this year and it's so big. 
how many pages is this? 260 pages. So yeah, it's it's heavier. <laughs> it's a little heavier than, than last year, but it's so good. Um, okay, so let me show you what's new in the life goals. Again, perpetual calendar, like I mentioned, so you can keep track of anniversaries or holidays or special dates that come every year and you just wanna like mark it like, I don't know, your first kiss or something, <laughs> whatever you're celebrating. Uh, just love the colors, love the new graphic designs. Also new this year, so requested gratitude journal. Yes, we have a gratitude journal now in the life goals planner. And honestly, I don't know why I didn't have this years ago. Um, and honestly, anyway, it was you life editors pointing it out. Like, why don't you have a gratitude journal in your, in your planner? I'm like, I don't know. Uh, you guys know the gratitude journal worksheet is my most downloaded worksheet in my editor's toolkit. Like by far, everyone <laughs> downloads the gratitude journal. So now you have this beautiful gratitude journal in your life goals planner. If you have the digital version, which is in the clubhouse right now, you print this out as many times as you want. And it's so pretty. Um, you can also photocopy this if you have the printed version. And what I really love is that it's kind of bookends your day with gratitude. So you start off in the morning with your morning gratitude prayer where you write down 10 things that you're grateful for as soon as you wake up, before you even get out of bed. Then you write down what you're learning from your challenges. So yeah, I mean, this is life and there's always going to be things that you're dealing with or things that you're working through, but what are you learning from them? I don't want you to just brood about, oh, my coworker is mean or, oh, I spilled coffee on myself um, or on my coffee planner, but, but what are you actually learning from, from these challenges? Uh, that gets that puts your brain in a different way of thinking so that you're not brooding you're actually solution finding you're actually trying to solve your problems next the people that you're grateful for yeah because life is all about relationships so who are you thankful for and that could be like your kid's teacher it could be your spouse it could be the mail carrier whoever whoever you're thankful for that day and then finally as we bookend the day uh, writing down the best part of your day. And this could be something that you might want to do with your kids as you're tucking them in, or maybe everyone shares the best part of their day during family dinner, or maybe you share it with your partner before you go to sleep, whatever it is. But choose one shining moment from your day, one thing that really stood out, and write it down here. And that's kind of just nice to have. Um, so when you are having a bad day or you're just feeling really low, you can flip through your old gratitude journals and see what types of things made you smile. Um, and I think that's more special than just a, a random diary where you're just writing down like, oh, I had a sandwich for lunch or oh, someone said something nasty. Like it, it means more to write down the things that are the best part of your day. Because really, when you look back on your life, that, those are the things you want to remember. So yes, gratitude journal, brand new in the life goals planner else we got <laughs> I just can't get over as I'm flipping through how beautiful it is this year yes a deleting checklist brand new worksheet this year and this is another one of my worksheets that you can find in the editor's toolkit but this one's really pretty <laughs> it's got lots of new colors on it and coffee cups uh, so a deleting checklist this is your your brain dump your um, brainstorming page for what you can delete in your life so that you have room for all of that good stuff that's missing. So we've got your relationships, your health, home and spaces, financial, professional, business, personal, and spiritual. And I actually start you off with some prompts to get you thinking about, okay, what can I delete in my life? What's holding me back? What's draining my energy? So that I can have more time, space, and energy for good things. So here's an example. Uh, for your relationships, you can create a boundary around toxic people or completely cut them out of your life. Um, for financial, you can cancel any paid subscriptions or services that you're no longer using. Um, for personal, you could quit groups, committees, or obligations that drain your energy. I'm looking at you, life editors, because I know a lot of you are on teams and committees and things for your kids' school and things at work that, like, you don't need to be doing that is like way too much work 
an effort. And if you just quit those things, even though someone's like guilt tripping you to be in them, you would have so much more energy to do the things that actually lift you up. So yeah, the leading checklist, brand new. And I think that's it for the life goals. Yeah. So we've got the perpetual calendar, the gratitude journal, and the deleting checklist are all new for the life goals planner. Let me give you an inside look. <laughs> look how beautiful, look how beautiful the pages are. So um, at the end of every month, we do our monthly edit where you can recap your goals, your results, your successes, challenges, uh, recap the five steps of the life editing process, and then as always, make a plan for next month. So it's gorgeous. Like you're gonna love the new designs this year. Okay, so that's the life goals. Moving on, business goals. These are for my, my entrepreneurs out there. And um, a lot of my clients, not all of them, maybe at least 50% of my clients have their own businesses. And maybe 2019 is the year that you start a business. And if you're thinking about it or you just want some more information or like what is the process of starting a business, check out the Business Goals Planner. Um, it's got some really, really great tips for beginner entrepreneurs, for people who are just starting out, or for those of you who maybe need to go back to basics and really clean up your business systems so that you can earn more money without getting burned out. Excuse me. Okay, so let me show you what's new this year in the Business Goals Planner. Again, the perpetual calendar. Um, I really wanted to make sure that you had the perpetual calendar in every planner, um, not just the life goals one or the 12 week one. So again, the months are at the top and then you can write down holidays, birthdays, anniversaries, whatever that happen every single year um, and special events. If you're using this for your business, why not celebrate the day that you got your first sale or the day you hired your first employee or put your employee's birthdays in here so like you can honor them on their birthday, like give them a Starbucks gift card or something. I'm still talking about coffee, which is so appropriate because it's a coffee themed planner. <laughs> yeah, so um, I would love to hear how you're going to use the perpetual calendar. So yeah, let me know in the comments or shoot me an email at sage at sagegrayson.com and let me know how you would use a perpetual calendar. Also new this year, yes, is the ideal client profile worksheet. So uh, this one is really important. Again, it was another one like, why didn't I include this? I have no idea why I didn't include this before. I guess it's so I didn't throw everything at you. Um, it was version 1.0 for those of you who watched the new Clubhouse class. So this ideal client profile helps you figure out, okay, here's what I do with my business. Who is this for? Who is this client that I'm trying to sell to? Who is this client who I'm trying to make her life better? And when you get really clear about who this client is, it makes everything easier. It helps you write your marketing emails. It helps you write your social media posts. It helps you create products that help that specific person rather than trying to put a product or a service out there to help everyone. I think you probably noticed that if somebody puts something out there and it's too bland and it's too vague, you're like, well, what is this? This doesn't help me. You're trying to help too many people. But if somebody puts something out there that speaks directly to you, like they're actually listening to you and your needs, ugh, it feels so good. And that's the type of person that I want to buy from. So getting really, really specific about your ideal client. So think about these things as you're making your products and services. So what are three words to describe her? What are the blogs and websites that she loves? What are her favorite TV shows and movies? Um, is she married? Where does she live? What's her favorite song? What's her income? What are her favorite books and magazines? And I think about this a lot when I'm designing stuff for you life editors too, because I want to make sure that what I'm putting out there is actually of value to you. So I, I was talking to one of my other clients and I was uh, telling her, okay, so if my business were like a movie, <laughs> um, I would say like my business is probably uh, like Elle Woods from Legally Blonde. Do you guys know that movie with Reese Witherspoon? So it's bubbly and happy and peppy and optimistic, but also really, really smart. Um, and 
people underestimate them all the time. So that's what I feel like you life editors are. That's what I'm trying to put out there. So every time I put out uh, a planner or a product, I'm like, would Elle Woods buy this? Um, I also think about uh, Cher Horowitz from Clueless, who is also like very like trendy and bright and happy and has lots of friends. But she, again, is also very, very smart. Um, so I think about that. Would Cher buy this? Would Elle Woods buy this? <laughs> so I think about that when I'm putting my stuff out there. Look at these colors. Oh my goodness, just look how amazing the layouts look this year. Okay, also new in the Business Goals Planner. Yes, we finally have a money worksheet. I know you guys were asking for this. So we have an Edit Your Money Blocks worksheet, which again is another worksheet you can find in the Editor's Toolkit. This one is beautiful and very nicely designed. So um, this I think is really important for entrepreneurs because we don't talk about we don't talk about money enough. We don't talk about like our pricing or why we choose the prices that we do or how we feel about how much money our clients have or how we feel about earning money. I know a lot of us have some kind of baggage, maybe from our childhood or from what our parents said about money or what our friends are saying about us being entrepreneurs. And I really wanted a worksheet that would help you work through those money mindset blocks. So on this side, you're gonna write down what your money block is. So maybe it's like rich people are evil or money is evil or you have to work really hard and never see your family if you wanna earn a lot of money um, or people who earn a lot of money never give to charity or like whatever those blocks are you have about money or I'm not a good person if I charge for my work. Like it sounds like weird but a lot of my clients are working through stuff like that. But when you write down what your money blocks are, I always challenge you to edit it. Can you edit that way of thinking and challenge it? So if you think like, okay, someone told you once that rich people were evil and mean, can you think of an instance where a rich person or a wealthy person was good and was doing good with their money and putting goodness and love and light out into the world? I can think of a few examples. So like, what about um, Bill Gates? Or what about Oprah? I'm sure you can think of more wealthy people who are doing really good, positive things with their money. So that's one way you can shift your money block. So when that money block comes up again, like, oh, if I earn money, I'll be evil. You can be like, no, 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 it's my money and I can use it as an energetic tool and I can do good with that money. So that's why we have the brand new Edit Your Money Blocks worksheet in the Business Goals Planner. Yeah, and I think that's all the new stuff in business goals. But let me show you some of the layouts. Look how beautiful they are. Let me find one of the weekly layouts so you can see that. Yeah. So nice. So um, you've got the monthly spreads. You've got the weekly layouts. You've got the monthly edits where you uh, go over how well you did every month. And I think it's really important to track what you're trying to change. So how many times a month did you go to the gym? How many times did you say nice things to your kids? How many times did you send your emails? Whatever it is that you're tracking, it's really good to recap and look at how your progress is going every month. We've also got the dot grid pages. Frappuccino! <laughs> so the dot grid pages are there for you to get really creative and do your bullet journaling. Um, we also do quarterly edits. So every three months, there's a quarterly edit page too. Um, yeah, I'm, I think what I'm most excited to see is like how you ladies are going to be using the planners, how you're going to be making them your own. Because that was like really special for me um, every year, every year that I release the planners, just seeing how you use them to edit your life, how you use them to edit your business, how you tweak them to make them fit what you need. And that's the whole point of life editing. It's making those tiny edits to get closer to the best version of you. Um, and I do want to thank all of you who gave me feedback on my planner so I can make them better than ever this year. Um, just quick recap, we've got thicker covers. They're coffee themed, um, but as always, they are 100% made in the USA. They are written, designed, printed, and shipped in the USA. There is free shipping anywhere in the world. And... You get the, you can buy the 12 week planner 
on its own separately this year. I heard you. <laughs> so now you can buy this separately. You don't have to like just have the digital one. Um, yeah, I'm just looking at all my notes. Whew, that was a lot. If you have any questions about the edited year planners, put them in the comments and I'll be coming back and answering your questions. Or you can send an email to sage at sagegrayson.com. Here's the thing, these printed versions, let me just show you. Just fan them out here, woo! <laughs> just showing them off like I'm Vanna White. Look at my planners. Um, these are going to be on sale Monday, so just a few days away, um, and you can get the printed ones. And the digital ones are available right now in the Life Editor Clubhouse for Silver Level members. So if you want the digital ones, if you're the type of person who would rather type into a PDF, or if you have a specific size that you prefer to work with, you can take that PDF to your uh, office supply store and get it printed any way that you want. Um, so I, I know a lot of you like doing that too. Um, yeah, so lots of good things happening. Again, if you have a question, type it into the comment box and I'll answer it on the call. But here is a question that I did get recently. Okay, so the planners are coming. Am I doing my thank you week giveaways? Yes, yes I am. Uh, so uh, my planners are always released the week before Thanksgiving and then the week of Thanksgiving here in the US, um, which is the fourth Thursday, <laughs> the week of, of Thanksgiving, uh, I do my thank you week giveaways. So each day I highlight a different planner and give away a copy of those planners. So yes, my thank you week giveaways are coming up. So for those of you who like, if it's not in your budget this year to get a planner, no worries. Just enter my thank you week giveaways and you could win one of them. Um, so I will be giving away the life goals, the business goals, and the 12 week planner. I think I'm also giving away the digital ones too. I'm, I'm actually pretty sure I am. So for those of you who are not in the Life Editor Clubhouse, you have a chance to win those as well. Uh, so yeah, if you have any thoughts or questions about the thank you week giveaways or if you have a specific request for a giveaway, just let me know. Um, yeah, so those coming up. Also in December, which is a little ways out, I'm doing my uh, 12 days of life editing, which I missed last year. And oh my goodness, I had so many people call me out last year like, where are the 12 days of life editing? And I'm like, it was not happening. It was not happening <laughs> last year. It was way too busy. It, I had so many things going on. I was like, it's not happening. It is happening this year because I'm already planning it now and I've got stuff done in advance. So yeah, my 12 days of life editing, which are the 12 days leading up to Christmas. I'm gonna have lots of goodies, uh, promo codes. I'm doing my Santa Sage special again at the end of the year. Yeah, so <laughs> I have lots and lots of stuff happening. Um, I know we just did uh, Face Your Fear Week uh, two weeks ago. Um, yeah, my goodness. At the end of the year, I always feel like I have a hundred things going on and I kind of do. So like in September is my uh, life editor weekend. It's also my launch for the Academy. Uh, October, the Academy starts and I've got Face Your Fear Week. November, I've got planners and thank you week. <laughs> and then in December, I've got more clubhouse promotion, my 12 days of life editing. Um, yeah, let me know if you want to do some kind of like planner pajama party because I've done that some years and sometimes I get a really good response and sometimes I don't. So uh, let me know in the comments, like, do you want to do a planner pajama party where we actually go through all of the worksheets in the planners together and like live and I give you time to fill them out and then we discuss them. Like, let me know if that's something that would be interesting to you or not. I don't know, because we could do that. We all get in our pajamas together <laughs> and plan. Um, yeah, uh, one last thing that I can give you a preview of, which is coming, but not until January, um, which I'm really excited about. So uh, Startup in 60. For those of you who don't know what Startup in 60 is, it's my business course that's 60 days long, and it takes you from idea to fully functioning business in 60 days, whether you have 60 minutes or 60 seconds per day. Uh, so that's the whole shtick. <laughs> I help you start your business in 60 days, um, no matter how much or how little time you have to work on your business. 
I'm really, really proud of Startup in 60. And it's in the Life Editor Clubhouse right now. So those of you who are silver level members, you can just pop into the Clubhouse and take the entire 60 day program right now and start your business like literally today. But here's the thing, Startup in 60 hasn't been updated in four years. <laughs> and though it's still a really good program and like 80% of the information is still relevant, some of it is not because technology keeps changing, social media keeps changing, um, different rules and regulations keep changing, and just the, I've learned over time better, faster, easier, more simple ways for you to grow your business, to get it off the ground. And so though the current Startup in 60 program is great, it is like way, way past due for an update. So <laughs> this has been very much requested too. Startup in 60 is going to be updated for January, 2019. So um, starting mid-January, uh, going through mid-March, the 60-day program is going to be updated. We're gonna do a live version of it again. So it's going to have new videos. Um, it's going to have new worksheets. It's going to have new information, like I just said, how systems and project management tools and social media and all of that stuff is changing. Um, so it's all gonna be updated for the new year. And we're gonna have our live calls again too. So for those of you who are in the program, you get to ask me questions about your situation. You can show me how your website looks. We can talk about your freebie. We can talk about marketing and finding your ideal client. We can talk pricing and products and services. It's going to be amazing. And I'm really, really, really excited because when I was looking at it, I was like, oh my goodness, I haven't updated this in four years. It is totally time for us to do Startup in 60 again. And for those of you who do get the Business Goals Planner, Startup in 60 is going to be a really great companion program for you. Um, a lot of the information is in the Business Goals Planner, um, but nothing compares to the live program where you get weekly videos, you get calls with me, you get answers to your specific questions, you get that community of entrepreneurs all working together. It's going to be really amazing and really special. So that's just a quick sneak preview. In January, the updated all new Startup in 60 is coming and I really hope you will come along for the ride. Whether you have a business right now that could use a little tune up or if you are absolutely starting from scratch, like all you have is this little idea for a business buzzing in your head, I would love to work with you and help you grow your business. So watch for that in January. <coughs> And then finally, um, I've been getting some questions about, well, how do I get a free call with you? So if you would like to talk to me besides just doing these Facebook Live calls, which are free, um, you can also get a 30 minute call with me, just me and you through Skype or phone or Google Hangouts or whatever works for you. And we can talk about your current situation, your successes and challenges, what your goals are, what you're working for. And I call it the free life editing strategy call because it's exactly what we do. We start strategizing for how you can use life editing to improve your life and business. So if you would like a free 30 minute call with me, just go to sagebrayson.com and click the work with me um, button that's at the top and you can get a free call with me. Just sign up, just fill out the form and you'll immediately be sent my calendar where you can pick a time that works for you. And yeah, we'll hop on a call, do a free 30 minute life editing strategy call and I really love doing the free calls because it's a really nice way for you to test out what it would be like to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Like, what's it really like <laughs> to work with Sage? What, what's it really like to do life coaching? And you can ask me all the questions you have, like, like how, how do I reach my goals? How do I set up my, my schedule so I get everything done during the week? How do I deal with these people who are holding me back? Or how do I not fall into these bad habits? It's a really great way for you to um, get some, some strategies from me on using life editing. Plus, at the end of the free calls, if everything goes well and you're having a great time and we feel like we're a good team, then I can always introduce you to my paid coaching offerings. So I do VIP days, I do private coaching, I've got my academy mastermind groups, or um, jump into the clubhouse where there's more than 110 hours of audio and video content that you can go through at your own pace. So yeah, if you want a free call, go to sagebrayson.com and click on the work with me button at the top. 
All right. Oh, my throat is sore. <laughs> Lots of talking today. Um, let's see. I don't see any other questions coming in. Let's see. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is weird. I thought it was scrolling. It wasn't scrolling. Like the scroll had stopped. So let me <laughs> scroll through all of these comments. Love the new graphics. Like the progress chart. Yay. Um, is there one per week or one per day? Oh, Donna, I think you're talking about. Yeah, so um, there is one uh, for the da, 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 da. right here for the the life editing process. I don't know why these comments weren't scrolling. For the life editing process, there is uh, the five steps per week, so it's not like every single step every single day, which you can certainly do if that works for you. You might want to put that on the dot grid pages. So it's like, what did I do for my foundation this week? What did I delete this week? What did I add this week? What did I rearrange in my schedule this week? And then what kind of white space did I make time for this week? Yeah, so it's for, for every week to get the five steps. Let's see, you love the worksheets. <laughs> Clueless and Cher, yes. Elle Woods and Cher. I mean, if you had to assign a movie or a character to your business, what would it be? Like, mine is definitely Clueless and Legally Blonde. <laughs> All right, okay, so yeah, maybe we will do the pajama party again. Um, I kind of really like doing Facebook Lives like this because you guys can type with me in real time. And I like that I can like show you videos and stuff um, and I can hold stuff up. Um, okay, so let me percolate on that. If you have any ideas for our planning pajama party, uh, type them in the comments or send me an email. And I think that would be really cool because yeah, we could go through all of the worksheets that are like at the beginning of the planners and we can go through them live together. So then as you are answering the prompts, you can share what it is that you're working on. So if you're doing like your, here, let me show you. Okay. So at the beginning of the life goals planner, we say goodbye to 2018. So maybe you want to say like the things that I'm proud of. 2018 and then everyone can share all the things that they're proud of or what you want more of in 2019 and then everyone shares or the lessons that you learned. I think that would be like a really good discussion if we're doing this together live all in our pajamas. So yeah, let me, let me know about that. Um, I think, okay. I think, I think we probably will be doing this. That would be really helpful. Um, I'm trying to think if we do like the planning pajama party, would we do it at night or would we do it on a weekend or would I have to have two times? I might have to have one that's like during lunch one day and I might have to have one that's like on a weekend. Let me know, let me know if you're interested in the planning pajama party and I'm gonna have to like survey you to figure out what times would work. Cause I don't wanna be the only one there in my pajamas, you know? I wanna make sure we have a nice good group. <laughs> All right. I have talked way too much, but um, just to recap, the 2019 planners, they are on sale on Monday, Monday. So hang in there, <laughs> hang in there, like editors, they're coming. Thank you again so much for all of your support and all of your feedback. I could not have done it without you. And I'm so, so happy and so grateful that you guys have loved my planners and really embraced them. Um, if you can't wait, if you can't wait till Monday, hop into the clubhouse and download the digital planners right now and get started with your life editing. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. If you have any other questions or anything else that you want to ask me, type it into the comments on your screen and I will come back all week and answer your, your questions or send an email to sage at sagegrayson.com. And if you would like to get a free private call with me, Go to sagegrayson.com and click the work with me tab and you can sign up for your free life editing strategy call. All right. Thanks, life editors. I will talk to you real soon. Bye.